there Minecraft 101 fans! Welcome back and welcome to a brand new series. I am so psyched guys. I very recently joined this new server. This is the Craft Theory server. I'm gonna get out of here because that light, while very very cool, creates a lot of noise. This is the nether hub. I just came from the skeleton spawner. There's some other things down here. We'll explore this at some point. We'll go on a little tour. But right now we're gonna head back to spawn. And we're going to check this place out. Now Craft Theory is a whitelisted server. Um, they take applications and when there are openings, when the owner feels like they need players, they will accept applications and then you can uh, go through the process and discuss that with him. Um, it's an adults only server guys, so if you're under 18 unfortunately, you're um, probably not eligible to to uh, join you'd, again you know you'd wanted to take that up with uh, with the owner but this is their spawn area this is where when you first join you come in there's a meat shack uh, there's just a lot of different things um, okay this the actual spawn is like right here this where this fountain is in this this beam so when I first joined the server this is where I came into the world was right in this area near this fountain um, and it, it's just I'm not even going to try to go through all the builds it's still daylight I'm going to try to get back to my base before uh, the daylight's gone but they're just some incredible builds I mean and just looking around you can see that's the I think that one's the post office for Carl correctly I gotta look I'm not sure <laughs> yeah anyway we'll we'll come and do a do a wander through spawn at some point Today I really I have a project in mind. I'd, I'd like to I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get obsidian. Um, I've not come across lava yet and I think I just need to go caving. I think that's gonna be <sighs> I want to figure out how to make another hub in my world. Okay that might not be a good project for today actually just because I just occurred to me I don't have any obsidian yet. It's gonna get a little laggy because I am going towards the uh, animal farms. Hi, you lousy skeleton! Don't be shooting me. Have to go down because sometimes I can get up on them that way. Ah, gotcha. When I get near the animal farms, things tend to get a little laggy, but I have to go this way in order to get home. This cool lava waterfall. There's oh, right. There's a something up there we'll figure it out that's somebody's base though I think this little house here on the side of the mountain is is uh, one of the bases somebody's built we the members tend to build um, closer to spawn which was the whole idea of they have a rather small world comparatively um, and they did that purposely because they're trying to keep spawn, you know, keep people close so that we can do things, more cooperative building and, and so on and build more like it. Do I? I don't have a boat, right? My boat broke. I almost forgot. This was uh, the first time I've been back and forth quite a bit and my boat broke this time and I don't have enough wood on me. Hmm, guess we're swimming. Alrighty then. I thought I had more wood. So... We'll just speed across here. As you can see, I have been pretty busy. I've been... It's not quite shaped up yet, and I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do, if anything, about a roof. I think I'm not going to have a roof. I think it's going to be an open castle-style build. And it's not completed yet. I still have quite a bit to do. Trying to think of what I want to get done in today's episode. It didn't, didn't occur to me. I didn't plan to uh, record this morning, so <laughs> I just kind of jumped right in. I'm very excited about the server. I'm very excited to be playing with a really great bunch of people. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I've only been on for a little while. But I've been working on this build. You can see the whole front of the, of the castle is pretty much done. I may change out my spruce doors and, and make them dark oak. I think it might look better, but meantime, I just got kind of a kind of a basic castle build going on here. And I'm going to change out this patio. I'm not happy with it. I really want steps that come right up to the castle. And once you go inside, 
You see I've got my animal pen set up. Got some gardens going on. I've got my little bed and everything just over in this corner for right now. And I need to finish the um, the rest of the walls on the outside. You can see on the front that I've got quite a lot of detail up here on the tops. Um, with the, the stairs and so on. But in the on the sides and the back I haven't I haven't gotten that far yet so I'm still working on that. I had forgotten what a job it is to build anything above ground. You know to to build up high like that. I do have a walkway that goes all the way around. Um, as you can see I've got it lit with pumpkins so I'm not gonna have a lot of torches. I'm gonna have torches up there on top just to keep things from spawning on top but down here I'm trying to do all hidden lighting. So you can see I'm using jack-o'-lanterns. And this is my backyard. It's very cool. I've not been in that cave yet. I really want to go exploring, do a little bit more in the terms of uh, exploring and so on. Got the uh, walkway goes all the way around so I can go to any of my windows and you know I quite often get mobs like down in here so I can shoot mobs from up here. So yeah that's that's kind of the basic outline. You can see there's still you know, I still have an unfinished wall. All this dirt that's hanging down, that needs to go. I had it there so I could place the jack-o'-lanterns. Um, as you can see, I've got, I've still got quite a bit of detail to do. I'm going to do something different, I think, with my chicken f pen here. I'm going to put some hoppers in so I can collect the eggs more, uh, more easily. And I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do that. And I've just got a little basic setup down here some furnaces, some chests. Um, my bed is right here just for convenience sake while I've been building. I may I may make a room here under the stairs just to have a, a convenient bed because sometimes when people are on we all want to sleep at the same time. But in the meantime, just like in my base on Banished Wings, I've got the downstairs and I'm going to be emptying this all out, clearing this whole area quite a bit more and this will be where everything else will go. My enchanting table, my brewing room, um, pretty much everything. You know, every, everything that's not upstairs will be down here. I, and my other, I've got a couple of goals for this series. I'm going to be finding a zombie villager so that I can convert him and use him as a farmer. So I'd actually like to have one for each of my farms. Well, at least for my uh, potatoes, carrots, wheat, you know, the ones that are actually able to do that. So I'm going to do that. I got to get some cows. Get out of here, chicken. Um, still breeding up my chickens, obviously. Because I always need chickens. I always need feathers for arrows. And the food's nice, too. I may split this and make it half chickens and half, like, bunnies or something. Maybe we'll do that today. Work on our... Work on our chicken farms. There's two more chickens. That's what I've been doing is just breeding them up like that. So yeah, that's basically um, all I really want to show you today. I just wanted to uh, give you an introduction, show you the the castle. I don't have a ton built yet, and I don't have a ton that's really, really cool to show you yet. Like I said, I'm still working. You can see I'm still slabbing the bottoms of the... I don't want that dirt showing. I don't want those pumpkins sticking through the bottom. So you can see what, I, what I'm going to do is put uh, slabs. Uh, along the bottom of the walkway, but I like having the green. I like having the the dirt walkway because I can even put like flowers and stuff up here if I want to. Um, but I just I like the look of it, so I, I really think I'm going to leave that dirt. And excuse me, I've put stairs around the the sides here to to make it pretty, and then I'm going to uh, put the slabs just to finish it off, make it to make it look more finished and you know and and clear and clean, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I don't know if I'm going to leave the side torches up yet. I've got lighting in the floor, as you can see. I don't know if I'm going to leave these torches up on the walls. I haven't made up my mind yet. So, aside from that, it's pretty much it's 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 habitable. It's not done, but it's definitely live live livable. <sighs> Struggling with my words because I really am excited, guys. This is such a cool server. I'm having so much fun just hanging out with the other builders. There are some just incredible builders on this on this uh, server. And you know as I get permission and as I get to know the other um, the other builders and the other players 
I will do some tours of bases and things like that, you know, and, and when people are on and who would like to have their, their bases shown off and that kind of thing. Um, just like I've done on Banished Wings and other, other games that I've played. So yeah, that's where we're at. Right now I've got a ton of stuff to do. I've got something special coming up. Um, Monday night we've got a collaborative. The very first time I'll be collaborating with these guys. I'm really, really psyched about it. Um, we've got a collaborative project we're going to be working on and I will record that and I will share with you guys the results. So look for that sometime next week and look for, for new videos. On, I mean, this will be a brand new series and we hopefully are going to have a whole lot of fun with this. Um, I'm still doing Banished Wings. I'm still doing B-Team and I will be, all oh, the other announcement I need to make is that I have joined the Twitch community and I have started to stream. So on Monday nights, I'll be streaming from Craft Theory. On Wednesday nights, I'll be streaming from B Team. And on Friday nights, I'll be streaming from the Banished Wings server. And you can find those on Life with Teens on the Twitch channel. Um, and I'll put a link in the description below as well. And the times will be about 6.30 in the evening Eastern time to about 8.30 or 9 o'clock Eastern um, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you want to check us out over there, you know, we'd be glad to have you. Remember that Banished Wings is a public server, so you'd be welcome to join and, and play on the server. Um, so, and same with B-Team, that's also a public server, actually. So if you wanted to join that server and, and check us out, you're welcome to. So this one is whitelisted, so this one, I, I can't invite you to join this one, but, you know, B-Team and Banished Wings are, are both uh, are open, so if you'd like to to check those out, you're welcome to, and hopefully I will see you there. So it's been a lot of fun, guys. I'm very, very, very excited to bring you content from Craft Theory. This is going to be a really, really exciting season, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I will see you next time, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. We still have to sleep. Yeah, yeah anybody who has not slept, uh, the sun's going down here in a minute, so head down and sleep. That's going to be my next step. We all step. look so dirty. Dirty, dirty gamers. So so many brown there. curl would use. Oh, you stupid guardian. You can only sleep at night. You can only sleep at night. I like this too. Keep it going. <laughs> Oh, stupid guardian. Is it night yet? Is it night yet? Don't make me turn this bed around. Oh, sorry, Dad. It's actually exactly noon. I was looking around at the horizon trying to find it where the sun was, and I look up and it's dead center in the sky. Yeah, guess guess we're not going to sleep then, huh? Not anytime soon. Oh, <laughs> you did. Sleep. That would suck. That's no, fine. Don't yeah, again, I, I doubt many of us will die. Yeah, so Probably not, is... but if you do, did anyone see how like this works? Or see how that works. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty self-explanatory. Drop down there, hit the button on the floor, get all the goodies. Yeah, you're you're good in like five seconds. You just rearrange it however you want. Might uh, steal that for the PvP map. Yeah. That's like the cheapest thing I've ever seen, dude. So it is we... nine dispensers, a button, and four torches. <laughs> before we all anything wrong with that. Before we start taking uh, splash potions and everything, make sure you drink your milk first to get rid of your buffs. Do we want to wait until the thing hits us, then I'll drink our milk at once? I think it hits you everybody. Wait till, you want to wait until after? No. Well, like some kind of suicide cult? I'll drink yeah. the milk at once? Yes, you all drink the milk. It hasn't been tainted at all, I swear. The one cow looked kind of green. I think 
It's all those herbal treats monkey's been feeding it. It's, uh, that's really only two cows and a donkey. I just painted the donkey. And remember, with Death Strider and Swiftness, you want to be on the floor, too. You don't want to be slow to get in there. It's all those herbal treats monkey's been feeding it. I didn't and see this. I didn't see the swiftness potions. Where are those? <coughs> uh, I just Maybe brought some. Oh, okay. I three, three splash. Ones. So, so I figure we, whenever we're all ready to go, we can all just get in one spot, drink our milk, and then just one by one splash. No. I didn't see this. I didn't see this. Now, is everyone going to go in the front door, or does someone want to join me trying to get in through the roof? Go in whichever way you all feel great. Um, Let's, uh, for the first one here, let's collectively grab all the loot and bring it back, and we'll, we'll split it up. The loot being the sponges and the the initial lanterns after that. Uh, I was going to ask, who, who wants to take on the project of building this into a guardian farm? Huh? Huh? Who wants it? Sounds like you, monkey. Not at all. <laughs> You're I'll take funny. it on if you guys don't want to. Yeah, not at all. Do you have to have silk touch to break the lantern? With yeah. 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 If you if you break the lanterns without silk touch, it'll break into the shards, which you can rebuild into lanterns. But then you lose some like glowstone dust. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I forget right. what the pattern is to build them, but you'll end up losing one piece of that pattern or something. Hey, you need like five crystal shards and two of those little other shardy things. Shardy things. <laughs> I was just yes. thinking I don't have silk Prismarine. touch pick, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, prismarine. Just... That's the word. I'm not going to harvest any of that with that was so big. I got one with me. Has it gotten to nighttime yet? Let's see, where's the sun? Oh, it's almost there. It's like 6 in the afternoon now. I can sleep at 6. I can sleep at any time of the day. Oh, I can't I, sleep at I'll 6. I've never turned down a nap. Nope. You know. I haven't got a clue how to build a guardian farm, but <clears throat> when it comes time, I'm willing to help mine it out. Not so much mining, the hard part's really just eliminating all the water. Yeah, that's true. Which, if you, use, if you use the sponges, that's not too bad. You have to wall it off first, that's that's really about it. I'm going to need lots of sand or gravel, or both. The guardian farm, but <clears throat> when it comes well, I can help gather stuff. Yeah, it's, it's too bad we don't have a giant mountain of gravel. Right. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, where can you find that? I bet the oceans aren't covered in gravel, too. That'd be real handy. <laughs> All right. Is uh, big people see it? Nope. Oh, Sun's still oh. up. Still Watch trying. Watch that. Right. Yeah, Watch that sun. You never know how it'll behave. And as an FYI, for those who didn't know, um, after we beat the Guardian tonight, uh, I'm going to expand the border by 250 blocks in all directions. Yay! Sweet. Cool. Let mm -hmm. there be donkeys. Yeah, let there be cool. And sand. However, for be aware that the caretaker is not going to expand the tunnels. You would need to do that yourself. Yeah, hey, I have prettied up my tunnel. Just follow his, uh, his existing patterns. He's talking to the main cardinal tunnels, uh, the big nether uh, brick tunnels that go, yeah, from, uh, yeah. go in all the directions. I, I preserved the design, though. I had to dig back a lot. That was a long time. I mean, you don't have to dig out, like, like, what, 15 blocks? Oh, I'm in bed. Bedtime, folks. Yeah. Everybody go set up your stuff. And then meet in the middle for the giant Kool-Aid drinking party. We offer a new body. Yay, Kool-Aid! Engineered for perfection. This is where the comet's gonna fly oh, by. Well, we the Kool-Aid and we all go to heaven, right? You, yeah, you don't, have to, you don't have to sleep to until daytime. You just have to jump in and then jump back in. No, I want to keep on sleeping. Get up, you lazy bum. That's pretty PG-13. So everybody have their milk and splash potions ready? Yeah, we gotta wait for yes. the face. 
Yes. Yay, a drinking party. I'm inside so many other people. You're sick. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Are we going? Are we going? Are we getting drunk? Yeah, I think we're all drinking the milk here now. Give her. Alright, I'm throwing down my splash speed. I just threw down water breathing. Alright. Um, Alright, strength's there. That's pretty much it, I think. Let's do this. <laughs> we just got hit with mining fatigue again. Son of a beat. God dang it. That's well, okay. I'm, I'm going for it. Got hit with mining fatigue again. <laughs> oh, good thing I brought my own potions. Freedom! Joe! There's so many of them. Oh, wrong way! <laughs> my boat go? There it is. Charge! What's the respawn time on these, like? You seem to be correct. Shoot, wrong button. Uh, I keep getting killed with mining fatigue. I'm going on the front door. Heck with this. Yep, same here. Front door. You don't know front door. Oh. Yeah, that's why Crap. I put the uh, boats down. Cause I didn't. I thought it would be on the other side. I didn't see it. So. Yeah, you can take a boat to kind of cross. Holy crap, I just died. I just set up a couple doors at the front entrance. Got a air bubble in it if you need it. Uh, I think I'll be fine as I get back to my stuff underneath the water. There. Nobody take my stuff. No promises. Oh, I want to see your stuff. Pick everything. All right, where are the Elder Guardians at? What's that? Where's the door out again? Uh, I put it at the front entrance. There's just like, just like two of them there. Oh. I drank a water breathing when I had two bubbles left, so I keep looking down and panicking. And I put another door so you can get some air right whenever you come in. I was the one that was all like, yeah, you're not going to die there, and I'm the first one to die. That's awful. I haven't died yet. I needed to heal, though. I have nine other doors, so I can keep dropping spots for us to breathe. I brought a bunch, too. Okay, cool. I also brought All some right, signs, so you can put them along the I'm on the second the walls. level. Different design from the last one I did. No. I keep lagging. And I'm gonna die again. Gosh darn it. Iron Guardians and their Guardian Magic. Yeah, here's an Elder. Die, yeah. Elder, die! Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna drop the door I'm about here. to die again. Oh man, all my stuff's gonna be everywhere. 